on the top side. We'll see how many decide to work down to the bottom. 50 laps, a long way to go. Shannon Babb trying to make it eight wins in a row in the Summer National Tour. has got his work cut out. Starting back in the 20th position. Ryan Shirley, Ryan Unzicker. 50 laps, 10 grand, here we go, green flag. Ryan Shirley jumps up to cut off Ryan Unzicker. Shirley gonna show the way here on lap number one. Shirley to the high side, Eric Smith to the insider comes Frank Hecatus Jr. Shirley, Hecatus, Smith, Melvin, Unzicker, your top five. They try to blow off the cushion there on the top side. Shirley, your leader, lap number two. Good battle for that second spot as cars work the second lap. Frank Eckertus Jr. on the top shelf. Eric Smith to the bottom has got Rodney Melvin along with Bobby Pierce. Back up to the top side, it's Ryan Unzicker. 25 of Jason Figger. Now Figger will duck back to the bottom. Derek Chandler's gonna go to work on him. Up front, Brian Shirley. Caution out, problems for Thorson. Looks like another driver stopped as well. Caution out, three down, 47 to go. Eric Smith, Roddy Melvin, Bobby Pierce, Jason Fager. See where they decide to run. Green flag, we're back underway. Now Fager gonna go after Bobby Pierce. Slams a cushion over there in turn number three. Still running in that six spot. Shirley, Frank Eckertus Jr., Eric Smith, Rodney Melvin, Bobby Pierce, and Jason Figger. Now Rodney Melvin gonna go after Eric Smith for that third spot. But here comes Eric Smith. Smith making it work there on the inside. Now to the inside of 99, Frank Eckertus Jr., half a car length, there comes Eric Smith. Smith trying to make it work. Smith not a second. Frank Eckertus Jr. goes back around him. Eckertus Jr. to second. Smith third. Good battle for fourth. Bobby Pierce. 27 around now. Promise for Eric Smith and nine. Smith off the speedway. Cosh it out. Again, good battle up front. Brian Shirley, Frank Hackett Jr., Rodney Melvin third, Bobby Pierce right there. And 44 to go. Summer Nationals continue on. Yeah, cars will work to that top shelf. Brian Shirley, Frank Hackett Jr. pushes just a bit. Here comes Rodney Melvin. Melvin out for second. Hackett holds him off half a car length. Ryan Shirley, Rodney Melvin, Frank Eckertus Jr. now to third. Comes Jason Fager, Fager now to fourth. Pierce back to fifth. 42 to go. Pierce back to fourth. Ryan Shirley, Rodney Melvin, 27 of Rodney Melvin. Melvin not a second, Eckertus third. Here comes Bobby Pierce. 41 to go, Rodney Melvin in that second spot. Bobby Pierce going after 99, Frank Hecatus Jr. They work that top shelf. Here comes a short, cool one, Bobby Pierce. Good battle side by side with Frank Hecatus Jr. Derek Taylor, the inside of Jason Fager. That's a battle for fifth, Darren Freeman right there. 39 to go, it's still Brian Shirley. Fager jumps the cushion, here comes Darren Freeman. Freeman on the inside of Fager. Lap trap gonna be hot and heavy, 38 to go. Brian Shirley, Rodney Melvin, Frank Hecatus Jr., Bobby Pierce, your top four. Melvin pushes just a bit, here comes Bobby Pierce. Pierce down the front says he's not a third. Pierce will work to the inside of Rodney Melvin for that second spot, Bobby Pierce not a second. Pierce not a second. Shirley your leader, Pierce second, Melvin third, Hecatus fourth. 
36 laps remain. Jason Fager and Derek Chandler wage war for that fifth spot. Chandler not a fifth, Fager to sixth. Seventh, Joe Harlan, eighth, Darren Friedman. Ninth, a good battle, Scott Bull with Dennis Herb. Herb 10th, here comes Shannon Babby's 11th, Weaver 12th, Shepard 13th. 34 to go, Bobby Pierce trying to reel in. 3S of Brian Shirley. Frank Eckertis Jr. get on that top side, rides in third. Step below him, Rodney Melvin rides fourth. Fifth, Derek Chandler, sixth, Jason Figger. 31 to go this time by, 31 to go. Bobby Pierce has caught your leader, Brian Shirley. Here comes Bobby Pierce at 32. Brian Shirley, a leader, but the short cool one out of Oakwood, a second generation driver. The track where his fathers won five Prairie Dirt Classic titles. Trying to steal one here from Brian Shirley. Shirley slaps the one out of backstretch. Shirley again pushes. Pierce in hot pursuit. Gonna have to work through lap traffic. 29 to go. We're under 30 laps. 29 to go as we approach the halfway point. Shirley, Pierce, Hecatus, Melvin, Fager, Chandler, Herb. 28 to go. Twenty-seven to go. Bobby Pierce looks to the inside of Brian Shirley for the lead. Shirley a car length, their leader. Brian Shirley now trying to put two lap cars between him and Bobby Pierce. Pierce gonna have to go to that top shelf. He wants to work two lap traffic. Twenty-six laps remain. Brian Shirley by five car lengths, make it six down the back stretch. Halfway home, 25 in, 25 to go, caution out. Debris on the front stretch, caution out. Of halfway, long ways to go. 26 laps and he sighted Brian Shirley, Bobby Pierce, green flag. Now Brian Shirley moves to the inside of Brock. Bobby Pierce opens up the door for Frank Eckertis Jr. Now they run to the top shelf off turn number four for the lead. Dead even. Got a race, 25 to go. Pierce to the inside, Shirley to the outside. Brian Shirley, our leader, down a backstretch. Bobby Pierce to the inside, Shirley pushes. Shirley by a nose. 24 laps remain. Good battle side by side for the lead. Brian Shirley, Bobby Pierce, Frank Hecatus Jr., Rodney Melvin now enter Jason Fager. Fager hammers the cushion. Bobby Pierce for the lead, dead even again. <laughs> 23 laps remain. Cushion very tricky in three and four. Pierce again's got it working on the low side. Get Shirley trying to figure out how to run the top shelf all the way around. This could be the lap. 21 to go, Bobby Pierce. Go to work. Down the front stretch, looks for the lead. He's got it, Bobby Pierce, your leader. 21 to go, problems for Mike Spatula on the back stretch. Caution out. Oh, caution out for Mike Spatula slowing in turn three. Well, we go back to the last completed lap. I believe it's gonna be Brian Shirley. Up by Shannon Babby runs 11th. 22 to go, green flag. <laughs> Brian Shirley now gonna work the low side and might allow Frank Hecatus Jr. Here comes Frankie Jr. He'll work that cushion. Shirley again to the high side. 
Shirley and later down the back sets, but it comes Frank Hackett Jr. 20 to go this time by three cars under a blanket for 10 grand. 20 to go. Now a good battle for second. Here comes Frank Hackett Jr. Hackett Jr. to the high side. Pierce to the low side. Battles four second off of four. Pierce to second. Hackett is third. Melvin fourth. Chandler and Baker battling out for fifth. Problems for Frank Hackett Jr. He clobbers the wall in turn two. Caution out. 19 laps to decide it. $10,000. Awaits your winter green flag. We're back underway. Again, Bryant, you're sure looking to work the top shelf. Bobby Pierce to the inside. Here comes Jason Fager. Fager now off the launching pad. Trying to his, throw his name in the books. Here comes Jason Fager. Fager down a third. He's going after Bobby Pierce for that second spot. Bryant, Shirley, Bobby Pierce, Jason Fager. 17 to go. Fager throwing caution to the wind. Shirley Pierce, here comes Jason Fager. Fager now looks to the high side of Bobby Pierce. 16 to go. Can Fager pull one off? Ryan Shirley, Jason Fager, Bobby Pierce, Rodney Melvin, Derek Chandler, Dennis Herb, Darren Friedman, Joe Harlan, and Brandon Shepard. Baker on the prowl. Bobby Pierce to the inside, dead even at the stripe, 15 to go. 35 in the books, 15 to go. Baker not a second. Pierce third, Melvin fourth, Herb fifth, Chandler sixth, Friedman seventh. They work that cushion over in turn at number three and four, down a front stretch. 14 to go, Shirley trying to hold on. Now Fager will work to the inside. Slide job over in three and four. Sure they're gonna hold him off. Fager again will work the high side in one and two. Pierce to the low side. Brian Shirley by six car legs. Back to Jason Fager. Fager into the wall. Bobby Pierce trying to take advantage. Here comes Bobby Pierce, not a second. Fager back to third. 12 to go. Brian Shirley, Bobby Pierce, Jason Fager, Rodney Melvin. Eleven to go. Lap traffic approaches. Bryant Shirley pushes. Here comes Bobby Pierce. Shirley Pierce, Fager, Melvin. Ten to go this time by. Ten to go. Bobby Pierce for the lead. Half a car length. Ten to go. Bobby Pierce, Bryant Shirley, and Jason Fager wage war. Again, Bobby Pierce, now you're a race leader. Bobby Pierce, nine to go. Here comes Brian Shirley trying to work the top shelf. Fake something happened. Nowhere to go for Jason Fager. Lap trap in front of Bobby Pierce, eight to go. Bobby Pierce, your leader. Brian Shirley, Jason Fager, give a chase. Boss up for the leader. Here comes Jason Fager. Oh my gosh. A lap car and Eric Vaughn, Pierce a slide job in, Pierce your leader, seven to go. Now Fager gonna go to work after Bobby Pierce. Here comes the high side hustler, Jason Fager, six to go. This time by Fager and Pierce a wage war. Unbelievable race so far, 44 in the book, six to go as I'm running out of breath. Bobby Pierce, Jason Fager, Five to go, race fans cheer them on. Bobby Pierce and Jason Fager. Lap car in front of your leader, Bobby Pierce. We'll see if Fager can make up ground. A good run up a one and two. Pulls up to the bumper in three and four. Trying to make it happen down a front stretch. Bobby Pierce has got four laps to go, but he's got a lap car in front of him. Fager trying to make it work on that high side. Might be running out of steam. Now Pierce gonna work the middle of the track and the high side as well. We'll see how Bobby Pierce handles it. Three to go for the short, cool one. Now in a Rodney Melvin. Melvin to the inside of Jason Baker with that second spot. Pierce trying to clear the lap car of 17. Steve Thorson, Baker to the inside, a slide job. Baker and Pierce, now Baker your leader. 
Finger throws a slide job. Here comes Rodney Melvin. Melvin to second. Pierce to third. White flag in the air as they got a lap car in front of him. Here comes Rodney Melvin. Finger bobbles. White flag. Rodney Melvin, your leader, one to go. Final time race fast. Rodney Melvin trying to steal one down the back stretch. Jason Finger needs to hit his marks in three and four. Final time, Melvin to the inside, Finger to the outside, your winner! Melvin got him! Well, race fans, nonetheless, Bobby Pierce comes home third. Give him a big round of applause. Second will go to 25, Jason Finger. Your winner, race fans, how about it for Rodney Melvin out of Logan, Illinois. Lynn Chevrolet down here to present the check, $10,000 at a big summer national feature win. Get exit 83 on the car as well. Melvin's collision and towing race fans, how about it for Rodney Melvin? And we'll jump down here and talk to Rodney Melvin as he gets his pictures with the Lynn Chevrolet guys. They present the official trophy modifieds coming up next. Sportsman will round it out here tonight. Get the rest of them in here. And I'll talk to Rodney Melvin down here in Victory Lane. Well, down here in Victory Lane, real quick, I tell you what, Rodney, all I can say is unbelievable. You watched it happen in front of you. You stuck to your guns there to the inside. You've been close here at Fairbury before in these big races. Tonight, you finally pull one off. Unbelievable job. Great race. Thank you. I tell you what, this place has been pretty good to me. Uh, we're usually pretty good here. And like you said, you know, we finally get one. I knew at the start of the race there we was going to be pretty good. And I got that big chunk of mud in my wheel, so I just kind of went to the bottom. You know, I figured it was probably going to come in, you know, then we got in that lap traffic, and the Pierce boy, you know, he kind of moved out there, and it left it open for me. So, you know, sometimes you go slower, you go faster. You know? Well, he did a fine job here tonight. I tell you what, got a couple of them coming up in September. The Prairie Dirt Classic and the Prairie Dirt shoot Shootout, you got to come back for those. Oh, yeah, we'll be back. I love this place. I thank all the fans for coming out and supporting us. Thank uh, Bob Pierce Race Cars, and, and thank my dad. I tell you what, we've only raced like five or six times this year. And uh, he's really the reason we come and race, so thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, Rodney Melvin, one for the ages here at the Legion Speedway. Congratulations.